In situations with canal confluences, we have to treat each route separately and not together, to prevent over-instrumentation and transportation of the apical foramen. There are two easy methods to know exactly where the confluence is. I'll show you next. We will introduce a manual file at its corresponding working length. Next we will try to reach the second canal with a manual file at the working length that we had achieved during its permeabilization. If, before reaching working length, the apex locator indicates that we are at working length, the canals are joining. The simplest canal is instrumented first. A gutta percha cone is placed and a small caliber file is placed in the secondary canal. The confluence is detected by the scratches left by a small file on a gutta percha cone. Now you know where the confluence is, you can adjust the working length of the files in the second canal. For example, in a lower molar when we have a confluence between the mesial canals, it is advisable to work on the mesiolingual canal first. This is because this is usually straighter than the mesiobuccal and it is more difficult to strip because the canal is more centered in the root.